The purpose of this video will be to show you how to add pages and parent pages to your website. Pages are an even further way to organize your site so that it's more easily accessible. So as you'll notice this template that we have, your template will be different, but the template we have has space for potentially five to seven pages here in the black bar. So for instance, here's one page here about our teachers. And so you could create many more pages to extend across this black bar that might better organize your information. So to create a page, we can go back to our dashboard tab and head down to the pages tab with the pop out menu and select add new. So you'll notice that this page or this screen that we see here looks much like the screen that you use to add a post. So it's really very much the same. You'll have a title and a spot for the content of your page. So anything you type in the content box will be the content that's on your page. So whatever words, whatever message you want to convey will be entered here. So let's say we want to tell the parents or students in our classroom about our classroom philosophy. So we would type classroom philosophy in the title box. So in the content area, I'll add my classroom philosophy, and I've already created one, so I'm just going to paste it in here. You can create whatever uh, philosophy or whatever information you want to put in there, you would just put in there. And so then it will, we'll just go over as simply as this to publish and select publish. And so that page has been published. So we can go back and look at it and refresh, of course. And you'll see our classroom philosophy is now a new page, and there's our information. So our title is displayed here, and the information is displayed down below. You can really put as much on your page as you'd like. It's not as simple as a post. It's more it's static. And what static means is that it doesn't change from day to day. It doesn't have your most recent post, or so on and so forth. It will just display the same information um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So this page will always display classroom philosophy and my philosophy until I change it. So if I wanted to edit this page, it doesn't have exactly what I want on it. I can just go back and we're right here on the pages, but if you're not here, you would are on the page we want to edit, but if you're not here, you can just go to all pages and there's our page of classroom philosophy so we can click edit and maybe I wanted to make that sound more exciting so I'm gonna put an exclamation point so all I'll do is select update and it's updated so now we can refresh this and now I have a exclamation point at the end of my philosophy another option that you can do with pages is creating a parent page. So right now we're currently looking at our live site. A parent page is a page actually within a page. So right now underneath of about our teachers there is a parent page or, or actually a sub page if you will um, about Mrs. Jones. So this page if we went to about our teachers we're going to see just some information. Oh the school has so many great faculty members and then if we went to Mrs. Jones tab then we would have a page solely dedicated to Mrs. Jones. So let's go ahead and create one of these pages. We'll go back to our dashboard and we'll go to all pages. This time we're going to create a new page and we want to create a page about a new teacher. So let's say we're going to create it about Mr. Smith and we'll just give a little bit of information about Mr. Smith. And then what we want to do, um, we would want to publish this if we would just want to make it a regular page, but we want to make it connected to our um, faculty page. So we'll go to the parent tab here and we want it to be underneath of our teachers. So we'll select about our teachers and then publish. 
This page has been published by the gold bar at the top, and we'll go check it in live view. And refresh our screen. So now if we hover over about our teachers, we have a, a sub page about Mr. Smith and also a sub page about Mrs. Jones. And that is how you create a sub page or a parent page.